Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing daily challenges for today, Tuesday, January the 23rd, 2024. Let's take a look at and see what we got for today. All right. Some good ones here. Now, you've all noticed I have one that may be a little different than you. I had rerolled completed daily ops, and I got another one instead. So I have many videos on my channel that will help you guys out. If you different ideas, different locations, easy areas, hard areas that were there. If you're a brand spanking new player, someone who's never played the game before, you're a returning player, someone who hasn't played in some time, or even an experienced player, someone who plays a couple times a week, is a particular daily or weekly challenge that's giving you a hard time or trouble. I'm sure you'll find a video on my channel that will help you. I try to keep my videos as updated as I possibly can, and of course, you guys are awesome. You guys help me out with that with your great comments, which is greatly appreciated. Okay. Let's take a look here. So there's quite a bit here that we can do right here in our camp. Let's go ahead. We are going to scrap junk to produce lead 10. So I actually made a video a couple months ago, a little lead farming, lead location video where you can find junk items that you can scrap to give you lead. Cause we use lead for a lot of crafting components, modifications, repair, but just for daily weekly challenges, we want to complete these as fast as possible so we can move on to other things. Let's go ahead to our Tinker's Workbench because we can bulk lead. Let's go ahead and go craft. Go down to bulk. Go down here to bulk lead. As long as you have 20 lead scrap, two plastic in your stash of scrap box, this method will work for you. So let's go ahead and bulk just one. That's all that we need. Let's back out. Now let's scrap. Let's scrap the bulk lead we just crafted. Done. Scrap drunk to produce lead 10 for 10. Easy. Okay. What's next here? What else can we do in our camp, Jim? Craft or scrap a melee weapon. Five. So melee weapons. You can find scorched. Super mutants in the wasteland. That will carry melee weapons on them. However, if you're looking for the fastest, quickest, easiest way, which is what I usually kind of tend to for these videos, just to show you how quickly they can be done. We can go ahead and craft a couple melee weapons at our weapons workbench. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and go craft. So we have these blunt melee weapons here, and I always kind of promote baseball bat and board. So baseball bat and board are two plans that I remember learning right off the hop. I've had these plans almost like almost right out of the vault. <laughs> and they don't cost a lot of resources. So let's go ahead. We are going to craft three baseball bats level one, two plastic five wood each. Go ahead and craft three of them. Okay. Let's go ahead and back out. Let's go ahead and scrap. I scrap those baseball bats we just crafted. Done. Just like that. But there's nothing stopping you from going in the wasteland and hunting down some scorched and super mutants and taking their melee weapons and scrap. Nothing's stopping you at all. But faster, quicker, easier, easier way so you can move on to other things. You can just craft a couple and then scrap them right at your camp. Okay, what's next here? What is next? Eat pre-war food. Five. Perfect. So here we talk about pre-war food. I have several videos out there. Where I go through the entire list. For those of you who know me, I carry a lot of stuff, <laughs> a lot of food and drink on me, okay? And I mainly do that just for daily, weekly challenges, okay? Uh, you guys know I'm a big fan of canned dog food and such, but um, I, I mainly hold on to the stuff for the daily, weekly challenges, okay? So again, pre-war food. Another thing you can use is popcorn. If you have the OG popcorn machine, like I have this one here, or, the, or you have the Hollywood one, popcorn also counts. Candy from these candy machines, this red one, and this bluish purple one that we got in season 11, the candy also counts as pre-war food also. Uh, canned coffee. Canned coffee counts. So this guy here we, ha we have in the Atomic Shop this week. Slack and Joe's coffee machine. See, can four can coffee. Let's go ahead and uh, try one. 
See that can of coffee, just like that, guys. Buy your coffee machine. If you don't have, you know, pre-war foods, you get that in your camp. What else we got? Let's try the company tea. I don't think I tried the company tea before. Let's try the company tea, because the company tea we got on season 15 scoreboard. The scoreboard that we're on right now. Let's check that out. Right up here. So everyone should have a company tea machine on them. So let's see if it let's see if it works. Nope, company tea does not work. That backfired, Jim. Right on, buds. <laughs> right on, buds. Right on. Okay. So, <laughs> popcorn. Keating machines. Let's try this out. Let's try this out. Let's go down here to popcorn. There we go. Popcorn from the popcorn machine. We got uh, Nuka Cola Quantum Candy from the uh, bluish purple candy machine. Okay. Uh, let's try canned dog food. You guys see me carry around canned dog food. Okay, another one. Bubble gum. So bubble gum, everyone should have bubble gum on them. When you open up perk card packs, you'll get free bubble gum in the perk card pack. A lot of people will dump them, but I save the bubble gum for these daily weekly challenges. Let's try the bubble gum. Done, just like that. Eat pre-war food five for five. So, you, so if you have a bunch of uh, you know bubble gum on you, you know, by all means, you know, just eat five of them and you're done. Right? Perfect bubble gum. Watermelon perk bubble gum, right? Those are the bubble gums you would get from those, uh, and just regular bubble gum. You would get from the uh, opening perk card packs. Okay. Just give you a few examples. I wish there was more, but you could check out those videos if you like. And I go through the whole list, everything that I have, just to give you examples what counts and what doesn't count. Okay. What's next here, Jim? I think that's pretty much what we can do here in our camp. Um, we can do this one here. We can go ahead and craft the ranged weapon, but uh, I'd rather go and uh, find some ranged weapons and scrap them because we got to go after some Blood Eagles anyway. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to scrap pre-war money five. And uh, a good spot that we're going to go is just uh, down the road from us. Wavy Wilder's Water Park. Let's go down here. Okay, we're here at uh, Wavy Wilder's Water Park. And uh, we are here to find some pre-war money and scrap it. So I actually made a video on this maybe about two and a half months ago. On pre-war money locations and farming. You can check that video out if you like. And we were very successful. I gave you many, many locations. It's all time stamped in that video to show you the best pre-war money locations. So that way there, you're not uh, running around. One of the locations they're bringing you is right here, Wavy Wilder's Water Park. Let's go ahead. There's going to be some scorch we got to uh, fight. But uh, most places we go, we're going to have to fight some sort of enemy. Jim. They didn't know what hit them. And that goes the same for me. <laughs> okay. So once we get through here, we're going to head right to the left. And uh, right here, we're going to open up this door. Oh, yeah. and, it, and inside this office... There'll be some cash registers with some pre-war money in it. Pre-war money. And there'll be pre-war money right here on the table. Right on the desk here. All right, so we get four of them. Let's see here. Four pre-war money. And uh, another thing that I mentioned to you guys in that video is most, if not all, most safes, when you open them, it doesn't matter what level, will have pre-war money in them. Okay, so it doesn't matter what level, even if it's uh, level zero. Safes will have pre-war money in them, as you can see. And uh, we've proven this out in that video, several locations. And I open up safes all the time, so I know. Okay, so now we have 15 pre-war money, just like this, just in this little room here. Okay. Let's go ahead. Uh, we can go to uh, any old workbench. Let's go down here to grab the station. It's just nearby. 
just to use the uh, workbench in the train station. Any workbench will do. All right, let's put this away. Go inside here, so we have our pre-war money, and we are going to scrap the pre-war money that we got. Done. Scrap pre-war money, five for five, done. Just like that. And uh, you can check out that video if you like. Pre-war money gives a good source of cloth. All right. What's next here, Jim? We could do these ones here together. But we'll start off by crippling Blood Eagle's legs and then kill some Blood Eagles, take their weapons, and then we'll do this, keep this one for last. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's go to a Blood Eagle spot. Uh, a spot where there's going to be enough of them anyway. Uh, let's go to the kill box. Kill box is always good for uh, at least a dozen of these guys. Okay, we're here at the kill box. And we're here to take care of a couple dailies here. First off, we're going to cripple Blood Eagle's leg too. And we're going to kill some Blood Eagles uh, at the same time. Uh, so cripple Blood Eagle's legs too. We can go ahead and free game for their legs. Or you can use vats, this is what I do. Perk card under perception, called Concentrated Fire. This will allow you to move your vats around from head, torso, arms, and legs. You can do whatever you like to do. I, I, you can either use ballistic weapons. This is what I prefer. Yeah, you can use whatever you want, but I find ballistic weapons and bow and arrow works the best for crippling. All right. Now, if we do it right, because it's how it's only two, two legs. All we need is one blood eagle. So right leg. Now let's go for the left egg. So there we go. I don't need both legs, she says. Oh, you do not, do you? <laughs> yeah. So there we go. Just like that. All you need is one blood eagle if you do it right. You have the right weapon. I find myself uh, energy weapons. I get it done, but it takes a lot longer for some reason. Energy weapons, they just don't have that crippling effect or, or what it is. What in the world? Okay, so now, so now we're going to go ahead, we're going to kill some blood eagles, at the same time we're going to pick up some ranged weapons for them, not melee, some ranged weapons. Let's um, get a rat away here, and uncripple uh, ourselves. Looking for ranged weapons at the same time, there we go, sniper rifle, nice. How you doing? Okay, pistol. Perfect. Yeah, we'll, we'll put that up there too. Sure, put that in the old ammo box. Why not, Jim? Why not, old pal? How you doing? Missile launcher. Um, yeah, we'll pick it up. Whatever. We'll try it out. Happy what day? Reclamation day? That's what he said. How you doing? Oh, you duck, see that? <laughs> you guys getting wise with me? Huh? Shotgun, sure. Machine gun, yeah, thanks. Thanks. Oh. Laser rifle, thank you. Lock and load, gems. Head upstairs. Hi. How you doing? Nice to meet ya. No baseball bat, we're not gonna bother with that. Combat rifle, sure. So you can see, you can, you know, you can pick up some melee weapons, but I find Scorched and um, Super Mutants for, me for melee weapons in the forest is a little bit better than other enemies. There we go. Kill Blood Eagle 10 for 10. Just like that, guys. Revolver, nice. Leave those stim packs. So there we go. Uh, let's see what we got there. So what we get left is craft or scrap or ranged weapons. Five. So as I said, we could have crafted some ranged weapons, something that doesn't cost a lot of resources. But I decided, you know what? We're going to be killing some blood eagles, so we might as well just grab some ranged weapons from them. And there's a Tinker's workbench downstairs, so we'll go ahead and scrap them downstairs here. Alright. 
Let's go ahead and go scrap. Weapons, combat rifle we picked up here. This laser rifle. One thing good about scrapping, especially when you're a new player, you will learn mods from scrapping, okay? So it's not a total loss. You won't learn mods every single time, but most of the time, especially when you're when you're brand new to the game. I see this missile. Yeah, it does. Oh, missile launcher, yeah. This, uh... Up with the shotgun here. Nice, there we go. Uh, crafter scrap a ranged weapon in this case. We took them off these blood eagles. Which were, oh, look at that. See, I uh, I even learned something there. <laughs> That's when you think you know it all, right? Um, Let's get in the light here. Radio jammer. Awesome. Uh, and that's it, guys. We are done. Just like that. Perfect. So that's one thing I try to show you guys, especially if you're new to the game, new to my channel. I try to show you guys, you know, an easy way. Try to think out, you know, where things are. And that's what I try to train people and show people, you know, the, the way to get these done early so you can move on to other things. If I could do it, anyone can for sure. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. Light, the light looks really good here. Uh, I'd like to thank my channel members. Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe, Starwin138. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.